Hello, my name is Jan Trafalas and I work for the Athens Institute for Education Research, which is a world association for academics and researchers. We have started a new initiative of interviewing the, the participants that attend the many conferences in Athens present their work. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Sanja Pekovic from the University of Montenegro. Hello, Dr. Pekovic. Welcome to Athens and welcome to your series of interviews. Uh, hello, it's my pleasure to be here at the conference. It is my first time, but I hope not the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I would like to start with your presentation at the conference. We're going to present the paper, The Obstacles of Entrepreneurs in Agritourism, a case in North Montenegro. Tell us a few words about it. This this project, uh, actually this paper is the part of a uh, big project uh, called in entitled Valorizing the North of Montenegro through sustainable, uh, sustainable development of agriculture and uh, tourism that is financed by Ministry of Science of Montenegro and the World Bank. The main objective of uh, this project is to provide knowledge in order to preserve uh, cultural heritage to a rural area but also to boost uh, agro-tourism. Mm -hmm. It is a great project because it's uh, gathered three institutions from University of Montenegro, completely different but uh, have a lot of uh, things in common actually. It, faculty of uh, Biotechnical Faculty, Faculty of Tourism and Hotel Management and uh, uh, Historical Institute. So it's completely multidisciplinary with some um, international partners also. So tell us a few words about yourself, your studies, your career. Yeah, uh, so um, I uh, have a PhD in economics from mm -hmm. University of Paris East that I obtained in 2010. Uh, my PhD is focused on quality environmental management practices and its impact on firm performance, but also on uh, employees. Uh, during my PhD, I work as a lecturer at the University Mat Novale and a researcher at the Center of Labor Studies. After my PhD, I did postdoc at the University of uh, Paris Dauphine. And finally, in 2012, I got my position as associate professor, assistant, sorry, uh, professor at a University of uh, Montenegro. Uh, during my academic um, career, I have uh, I visited uh, several um, research institutes, such as the uh, Institute of Environment at University of uh, Los Angeles. Um, then um, I have also visited uh, some uh, research centers at in France, like, like um, uh, INRA, then some uh, French, uh, Russian uh, Institute for Economic Research, and etc. Uh, also, um, I am involved in several uh, international projects, uh, as this one that I just mentioned, but other that are fi financed by the World Bank. Uh, by uh, European Union and also some national uh, project uh, financed by Ministry of uh, Science of uh, Montenegro. And um, uh, I work uh, as, uh, like, I'm co-organizer of uh, two conferences, one which is focused on uh, quality environmental management uh, in Montenegro and the other one uh, that is focused on innovation with our partner uh, from uh, Croatia. I'm also Sergi Fellow, um, which is Institute for Economic Research based in Prague. And uh, I uh, publish several papers in different uh, academic journals. This is briefly. <laughs> briefly. <laughs> Very nice. So uh, what's your major current area of research? My major uh, area of research is, of course, uh, uh, linked to my PhD, which is quality environmental management practices, but also corporate social responsibility, sustainability, mm -hmm. then uh, environmental economics, innovation, mm -hmm. and empirical uh, analysis, because the whole my PhD and uh, majority of my, my work is empirically based. But of course, I now work, as uh, I mentioned, in and it's linked to this project, how to valorize North 
part of Montenegro through um, uh, through agritourism uh, in order to uh, gain some uh, economic benefits. Mm -hmm. So, do you think agritourism could be helpful in the Greece situation? with uh, the economical difficulties that we're facing? Honestly, I think yes. Mm -hmm. uh, not only in Greece, but also in Montenegro. Uh, why? Because there, this is a huge trend mm -hmm. of, uh, of growth and um, the tourists are more now, uh, like 20% of European tourists now are rather going to countryside and mm -hmm. on the coast. And in Europe, uh, like 20% of uh, tourism activities is uh, related to agro-tourism and I think there is a huge potential as in Montenegro, also in Greece, um, to, to exploit it and to gain, uh, generate uh, financial benefits. So how were you introduced to Adner and what made you attend the conference? Uh, I, I was introduced by a colleague then I start to follow your different activities uh, on your web page, then uh, I, I um, just I saw this uh, call for this tourism session, and I thought this uh, work that I have could it will fit to to, to, to call of yeah. your conference this year. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the status of the educational system in Montenegro, and what are the advantages and disadvantages in your opinion? I think main advantages is that we have possibilities to do this multi, uh, multidisciplinary uh, research project and that our management of university support, uh, support it and support also research de development mm -hmm. and they really uh, find it very important and uh, they have this, uh, they give some um, some, some uh, how to say supports to, to further development but uh, and on the other side the main uh, challenge is uh, but it's not impossible is to um, obtain uh, international grants because we are small country and small university but again it's not impossible mm -hmm. thank you very much thank very you. Nice to meet you. thank you thank you